Hi, so today I'm going to review this. This is Chris by Marissa Meyer. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. If you haven't read um, Cinder or Scarlet, why haven't you read Cinder or Scarlet? But if you haven't read them, this is going to be spoiler free even if you haven't read those books. And also I will leave links to my book reviews and book talks about those books in the description box below in case you want to check them out. So yeah, let's get started. So all these books are fairy tale retellings. Cinder is about Cinderella. The second one, Scarlet, is about Red Riding Hood, and this is the one about Rapunzel. Um, even though there's a new fairy tale retelling for each new book, they all have the same characters. It's kind of a continuation. So Scarlet has the same people from Cinder, but it added on like Scarlet, that character, and some other characters. And then this Chris has all the same characters from Cinder and Scarlet, but it added on Chris and also some other characters along with her. So. Yeah, it's a continuation, but each book is like a new fairy tale retelling. And the last book in the series is called Winter, and that is about Snow White, I believe. So in this book, Chris is not in a tower, she's in a satellite orbiting Earth, and she is also a hacker, so that's pretty cool. Um, but she still has the hair, which is important. But yeah, that's really all I can tell you about this without spoiling the previous books. Now I'm gonna get on to things I didn't like and did like about this book. So first of all, I loved it. I love this whole series. It's probably my favorite YA series ever. It's just so much fun to read. It's like the funnest book ever. I think I say that in all of my other reviews about the series. It's so much fun to read, so enjoyable, and I just can't stop reading it. Like, I just... I'm like having so much fun and it's one of those books where you're like tearing the pages to get through. Not actually tearing though because you know, treat your books with love. Um, but like you just need to know what happens and you want to like get to the next thing and it's just so exciting and there's romances and they're great and I love them. And yeah, so I really enjoyed this book. I really liked Chris as a character. She's very smart and sweet and kind of naive because she's been so isolated for a very, for a very long time and in this book she gets to like interact with other people so she's kind of, I don't know, a little bit timid and scared which is expected because you know she's been in a, in a satellite for like forever by herself which is very strange and I really liked her as a character. Um, yeah I really liked the character development of Scarlet and Cinder as well in this. Not so much Scarlet actually um, and to be honest I felt a tiny bit uncomfortable with Scarlet's storyline. If you've read the book then you know why. Um, but yeah, I love Cinder. Cinder is my favorite character in the series. I love her. I love her. Her romance makes me the happiest out of all the romances. I just, those, her and the person that she is in a romance with, I love them. They're great. Cinder, just her character and her development and just everything about Cinder is great. Every time there's a Cinder chapter, I'm just so happy. I'm like, Cinder, hello. Let's talk. I also like that we get to see a perspective from Levana, Queen Levana, who's kind of the antagonist of the book. Um, and I really like to see, I don't know, kind of her perspective on things. I'm interested to see what she is like in the last book. And I hope that we get to see more of her and to see more of what she's thinking. So yeah, she's a very interesting character. The things I didn't like about this book was that I didn't get enough Cinder. I think I said that in the last review I did of Scarlet. I love Cinder, like I said before, and I just wanted more of her. I just want more Cinder. I just want all Cinder. Just Cinder. I love Cinder. I do love the other characters as well, but I just am so excited when it gets to Cinder chapters, and sometimes I find myself, like, being like, when is the next Cinder chapter? When is she gonna show up in the story? Um, the other thing I kind of didn't like, which is not really a thing that I didn't like, because it's so small, is that I feel like the romances are a tiny bit too easy everything just kind of falls into place. There's, there's like a perfect person for everyone in the story and it's already been hinted at who Winter in the next book is going to have her romance with so I kind of feel like it's going to happen and it's just like it's it's so uncomplicated. I mean it's not uncomplicated but I feel like there's no opposition, there's no love triangles which might be a good thing but I just feel like it's a little bit too easy. I loved this book. It was so much fun to read and I definitely recommend the series to you if you haven't read it and I definitely recommend Chris to you if you haven't read it. So now we're going to talk about spoilery stuff so if you haven't read Chris um, then you shouldn't watch the rest of this video. Let's talk about spoilers. So spoiler section time, Scarlet, you made me uncomfortable. I just, I felt so sorry for you, but at the same time, it was like every time your chapter came, I was like, uh, how long is this? When are we going to finish and go to the next thing? Because I just don't want to deal with this situation right now. Until Winter was introduced. I love Winter. I know that a lot of people find her very weird, but that's why I love her. She is so crazy, so crazy, and she's awesome. And I can't wait for her to be in the last book. I feel like she's going to be very different from like the three characters that were like introduced 
so far, Cinder, Scarlet, Chris. Winter is going to be like the crazy one of the bunch, and I'm excited because I love the crazy one. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for Winter, and I really liked her interaction with Scarlet. Even though Scarlet was like, this girl's crazy, and I can't trust her, I really liked how Winter like acted around her and all the crazy things she said, and the fact that, the fact that she likes animals, and that she seems to be a good person because she's not using her like powers, and it's hurting her. Maybe she'll like use her powers in Winter, like she'll like start using it and it'll be like this massive burst of like power and she'll be like so powerful although I feel like Cinder should be the most powerful but maybe she won't be I don't know Aiko I love you I just need to say that I love you I love you you just are the best character as a giant ship or as a sex robot thing you're just awesome I love you. Wolf, you were kind of useless in this book, and just everyone, you were just controlled by everyone, which was kind of sad for you, but at the same time, I was like, just get out of the way, please. I don't know what is going to happen when he goes to Lunar, because that just seems like a very bad place for him to be, like the worst place. Back to Winter, though, how old is she? Because she seems like 12, and that's, that's like the high estimate for me. She could be 8. I feel like she's 12-ish, but she's probably gonna be like 17 or 18, and you know, because she's supposed to have a romance, I think. There was like a hinted romance going on um, between her and Jason, the former palace guard person, um, and I feel like Jason is like 20-something. Like I feel like he's older than Kai, is he? Do I feel like that's a thing? I think so. I feel like he's 20-something. How old is Kai? Um, but yeah. I don't know, I feel like it's weird, like there's just this giant age gap, so she can't be 12, because that would be really inappropriate and weird and wrong. Um, but yeah, I feel like she's 12, and I just can't imagine her being older, so I wonder how she's going to come across when we get to see her perspectives. Maybe she'll like have these really, like, thoughts on the inside that make her seem older than, like, 12. Um, and also, best part of this book, Kai and Cinder reunited. I was so happy. I was jumping up and down. It was the, like the best. The best. I've been waiting for this ever since Cinder. I'm just, I was so happy. I was like, they are finally together. Finally. And they're together now. And it's good. And I'm happy. And it's great. I love them together. They're like my favorite couple. Just awesome. And I just love them. And the interaction was so awesome. Like, she kidnapped him. It was great. I love them together. Oh my goodness. Those are my thoughts about this book right here, Chris. I'm so excited for winter, which I've said multiple times in this video. Um, yeah, if you have any thoughts about this book, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.